Greetings folks, welcome back to the uh, Spanky Guitar YouTube channel. Today we're going to be shifting gears a, a little bit. Um, I featured a lot of Gibsons, a lot of Epiphones on the channels uh, to date. Um, today we're going to be uh, checking out this entry level but beautiful, still very nice guitar um, done by Ibanez. So this one is an Ibanez Geo. Um, it has the whammy bar, but I don't know where uh, it's around here somewhere. This one uh, is from the uh, the Geo lineup. It's an entry level, um, the entry level models from Ibanez. I think I paid uh, uh, two hundred and twenty dollars Canadian um, last year. So this came straight from the shop, Long and McQuaid. Um, uh, mind you, this is my son's guitar, and uh, we are actually in different provinces at the moment uh, here in Canada. And so I got a I got to mail this one to him. So I figured I'd uh, I'd uh, feature it on the channel before uh, before him him and his first guitar are reunited. Anyhow, um, I tried looking for the specs on this one, and the model number. This is 2019, but here it says uh, made in China, GS. 19 and then all of the numbers usually there's a model number i tried um uh, so i went on i've been as website they have grg g uh not gs uh the other models and i'm not sure of the exact model off because i i misplaced my receipt and um so usually i'll uh i'll do a review of all the specs on this thing but i guess it's safe to say that this does have a rosewood fret fretboard it's a fairly lightweight guitar so i'm not sure if this thing is maybe uh Maybe it's popular by the weight of it, but um, that's good for uh, beginner beginner guitarists. You, it's nice to have light guitar if you're uh, you know if you're 10, 13 years old, whatever. You don't want a heavy 12 pound Gibson. Gibson. But um, so yeah, and I think this one has the 24 frets: 12, 15, 17, 19, 21. Yeah, so this one has 22 frets. And um, the tuners are all in line here, six string, black. I, I was looking at this thing closely, and if you look closely, I don't know if it, the camera picks it up, but there's actually little pieces of glitter in the paint, um, like a glitter. So that's kind of a nice touch. Either I had just forgotten about it. I haven't picked up this guitar in quite some time. Um, so yeah, it has the open coil, two open coil humbuckers. Uh, actually, maybe we could take the pickup readings right now for those ones. Um, what I usually do is I'll condition the fretboard, change the strings, and uh, polish the frets just to uh, to uh, enhance the playability of the guitars every once in a while. But it's raining outside today, and uh, I don't think I'll polish the frets today. But uh, so we're gonna. change things slightly for just for today we'll, we'll still take the pickup readings I'm actually curious about this myself I haven't uh, taken the readings on on this particular guitar ever I do know it does sound good though for a, for an entry level guitar sounds very good And when we do the sound demo, I'll just pair it up with this uh, Boss Mini Katana. Because if you're a beginner guitarist, I would re recommend getting these one of these little ones. Because they really do sound sound good for uh, for the price, for its size. I think it's only 130 bucks or something like that. And um, just for now, if you're looking for like a ent entry, uh, entry uh, level rig... 230 for the good Ibanez 130 for uh, the little amp and then once you start learning some chords and some riffs then you can upgrade to the bigger uh, boss katana if you like uh, the 50 watt I mean that's very very loud that 50 watt for anybody and of course you can get all the other amps in between but um, yeah so I'll pair it up with the boss katana mini
and this has a five-way selector one two three four five and it has different uh, coil configurations once you select this all the way up is your all the way neck in the middle or in the second position I believe it's the neck and part of the bridge in the middle it's the neck and the bridge coils here and then the fourth position is half of the neck and both of the bridge coils and then all the way down is just the um, the bridge by itself and uh, yeah I'll go through the uh, we'll go through that on the sound demo as well so let's see what the uh, what this pickup says what these pickups say Come to think of it, I've never done any uh, pickup readings on a on a s guitar that has five selectors, uh, five positions. Let's see what happens. So the neck is a 9.47. So yeah, that's already hotter than every single one of my Gibsons and um, and the Epiphones. In the second position. This goes down to 4, 4.8 in the middle. Five point four four in the fourth position. Very low, three point two five, and all the way the bridge. This one will probably be the hottest. My guess is maybe eleven or twelve. Just a guess. Oh thirteen. 13.00 13.00 cool all right so uh we're gonna bypass like i said we're gonna bypass the uh fret polish even though it does need a polishing of the frets we'll just leave the strings on for now at uh, usually i like changing the strings on it um but before i send it to my son i'll, I'll give it a proper setup and a proper cleaning i did wipe it down And uh, I sprayed it with uh, um, one of the Diodario cleaners. It's just a spray cleaner. So it's good to have those on handy. Uh, get the grime and dirt off. Wipe it maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks, whatever, to your liking. Okay, so I'll sign off for now. I'll get, the, uh, get everything set up here. Um, i got to get the interface set up uh, and plugged in. So... I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so we're all set up. Um, got the Boss Katana Mini on the Shure SM57 mic. Got an Audio Technica AT2020 off to the side here for a room mic. Um, using the Scarlett um, 2i2 interface. And uh, so yeah, let's see how this thing sounds. We're just starting off on the neck pickup on a clean channel, clean sound. forgot to mention um, the last time I tuned this thing was maybe two months ago um, and it was surprisingly still in tune so if you want a guitar that stays in tune um, this $200 guitar is, is surprisingly um, efficient for uh, staying in tune so I'll we'll try the second position middle fourth so the fourth is the um, this single line of coils and then both of the bridge then we'll go all the way to the bridge both uh, coils here back to the neck
Okay, we'll try um, a bit of distortion, dirty channel. We'll go to uh, the crunch crunch setting of the Boss Katana Mini. <laughs> Try the second position, middle, fourth position, and the bridge, fifth position. And then we'll go to the uh, the brown sound. Oh, sorry, we were already on the brown sound. Okay, well we'll just stay on the brown sound, and we'll add some more gain. That's that folks, hope you enjoyed the uh, the video and uh, I would recommend getting one of these Ibanez Geos. And uh, so that's it for today, thanks for watching.